What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trivia. This week we're doing the Forbidden series. Now, the Forbidden is a series of quick play spell cards that share similar artworks and effects. They all feature a white clothed woman holding various items in a place that appears to be the Sanctuary in the Sky. The first member of the series, Forbidden Chalice, was released in Raging Battle. Then more members came in the Storm of Ragnarok, Abyss Rising and Primal Origin sets. All the Forbidden cards focus on manipulating monsters' attack points, or in the case of Forbidden Scripture, ignoring changes in attack and defense. Now, the woman featured in each card's artwork may represent Pandora of Greek mythology. Now, in the Greek mythology, Pandora was the first human woman created by the gods. Each god helped create her by giving her unique gifts. Zeus ordered Hephaestus to mold her out of earth, and all the gods also joined in offering her seductive gifts. According to the myth, Pandora opened a jar, typically mistranslated nowadays as Pandora's box, which opened and released all the evils of humanity into the world, leaving only hope inside the box. Where's uh, Kratos when you need him? <laughs> oh wait, yeah, he's in the Norse mythology now. Um... Yeah, never mind. So we can see the parallels between Pandora and the girl in the artworks. However, unfortunately, this girl also appeared later as a warped effect monster known as Condemned Maiden, implying that she was punished for using the four items as seen in Solemn Scolding. The artwork of Forbidden Scripture further hints that these items are truly owned by the old man who is identified as God. He's also the same person featured in Solemn Judgment. The effect of Condemned Maiden makes using quick play spell cards like the Forbidden series easier, but only once per duel. Now, despite the Greek theme and appearance of each of these cards' artworks, the inspiration behind the series appears to have come from the four most notable holy relics of Christianity. First up, we have Forbidden Chalice. Its effect is you target one face-up monster on the field until the end of this turn. That target gains 400 attack, but its effects are negated. So this chalice is a reference to the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail is a dish or plate or stone or cup that is part of an important theme of Arthurian literature. According to legend, it has special powers and is designed to provide happiness, eternal youth, and food in infinite abundance. Or perhaps it grants the holder any wish he or she desires if we're going by the Fate series. That's a great series, you should watch it. Next up, Forbidden Dress. Its effect is you target one face-up monster on the field until the end of this turn. That target loses 600 attack, but cannot be targeted or destroyed by other card effects. Now, this card makes reference to the seamless robe of Jesus, which was the tunic Jesus was wearing when he was crucified in the Bible. Next up, Forbidden Lance. You target one face-up monster on the field until the end of this turn. That target loses 800 attack, but is unaffected by the effects of other spell and trap cards. Now, this card is based on the Lance of Longinus, also known as the Holy Spear, the Spear of Destiny, or the Holy Lance. It is the lance that pierced the side of Jesus as he hung on the cross. Next up, Forbidden Scripture. Now, its effect is if a monster battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, negate all of a card's effects on the field until the end of the damage step. Also, damage calculation for this battle uses each monster's original attack and defense. Now, this card is based on the Bible, which is a collection of texts sacred in Judaism and Christianity. It is a collection of scriptures written at different times by different authors in different locations. Jews and Christians consider the book of the Bible to be a product of divine inspiration or a record of the relationship between gods and humans. It is interesting to note that there is an electrical lamp on the table and the room's interior has a very modern look to it in contrary with the ancient Greek theme of the Forbidden series. And finally, we have Condemned Maiden. Her Japanese name is Holy Maiden of Lost Comfort. She's a light attribute monster who is a fairy type and a level four. Her attack is 100 and her defense is 2000. Her effect is during your opponent's turn, you can activate one quick play spell card from your hand. You can only use this effect once per duel. So after the events of Forbidden Scripture, this monster appears in the artwork of Solemn Strike seemingly being punished. This would then lead to the monster we see before us now, clearly cursed for using all those items. What appears to be a Venus symbol appears on the chain around the monster's waist and on her eye patch. This would further link her story with Greek mythology as the symbol is associated with 
Aphrodite, the Greek goddess. And with that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tale of woe I have spun you today. If you did enjoy it, then why not leave a like and leave a comment on which forbidden card you usually main in your decks and why. Mine would be probably Forbidden Lance because I used to run a Malefic deck which used to have like 4,000 attack point monsters. So when I could just decrease my monster's attack and it wouldn't be affected by spell and traps, it was perfect for me. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching and catch you later.